a little bit earlier, that obviously perfect, perfect performance. As you watch it or as you've considered it, are there things that you still look at there and think, if only I'd done that or, or do you see it as a I think perfect when we performance? I had first finished after 1984 for the next couple of years we'd watch it with a critical eye. Mm. But I think we watch it with sentiment now. <laughs> we, you know, we, we've seen it, done it so many times, and that uh, that moment, it was perfect then, mm. um, and in our heads, I think that's how we, we, we try not to watch it too many times. <laughs> Such a shame he fell over at the end, though. I know, I know, <laughs> it, was <laughs> it was a death on ice, and, and a lot of people started dying on ice after that. After <laughs> Do you get fed up with it, in a way? Do you think... Oh, I wish that would just go away and we could move on and be us now, Jane. It, it's, it's really special, actually, because it opened a lot of doors for us winning the Olympics and the fact that people still remember that routine. Um, and, in fact, you know, it formed the basis of the format that we use for Dancing on Ice, that in the final, our finalists get to do their version of the Lero. So mm -hmm. it's very endearing. And there's probably um, lots of new fans that you have who, of course, won't have a memory of that. It's for performance absolutely. at all. No, absolutely. I, I remember um, when the show first started that I was out and about and came across a, a lot of school children and they're all pointing and, are you on Dancing on Ice? Are you the Dancing on Ice? And, and you know. That's all they knew. Yeah, that's yeah. all they knew. But then they're grannies now, that's. <laughs> yeah, oh, of course. Um, Paul Woodward from the Royal Logistics Corps got in touch with us to say, to wonder if you've ever been back to that old stadium in Sarajevo because he says. He slept on what used to be the ice rink, where the famous gold medal was won, and he slept there for six months, went on tour during the war in Bosnia. He said it's in a, it was in a pretty sad state then. Wonders if it's in a pretty sad state still. They, um, we went back there several years later, because um, we knew that they had used it during the war to put a lot of the soldiers in. Um, and in fact, there's, um, they do a radio, British Horses radio broadcast from there, don't they? Um, and we went back and, and there was no ice there, there was just the floor, but we did actually, we walked, we felt compelled to walk to the middle of it and kneel down, didn't we, as if we were going to start to skate, yeah, uh, no, it bringing was, back uh, those memories. Mm -hmm. yeah. An amazing time, I mean, when we were there and then revisiting it um, as a war-torn um, town. Um, it must have been city. really strangely emotional, because to yeah. go back to it as an ice rink would have yeah. provoked you know, some extraordinary memories, but to go back to it after there's been a war. Absolutely, and the circumstances that had been used and where we had walked around the opening ceremony was a place where they brought all the dead bodies as well. So it was Very tragic, tragic I have to say, uh, but, um, you know, onwards and upwards that that situation has turned around now. And yeah. uh, I do think that they've built a, an arena back on that site now. Right. We've had a lot of messages in from people today saying uh, they remember that Sarajevo moment so clearly and they wish that they could see ice skating on the TV, on terrestrial as we call it, take TV, more these days. Do you regret the fact that it just doesn't get the profile, doesn't get the coverage that, that it did in your heyday? I think so, yeah. I mean, it would be great to see more skating on TV. Competitive ice skating. Competitive, because yeah, yeah, yeah. dancing on ice yes, is on exactly. TV. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, the, the top of the top, the, the creme de la creme, I'd like to see it on TV. You know, across Europe, across America, it's still a popular sport, but I think it's to do with, you know, people winning. And let's hope that through our um, uh, 2012 Olympics, other mm. sports will get more visibility as well. Um, because when you have the Olympics in your backyard, it popularizes it. And then one day, we, or, I mean, next year actually, we, we do have the European Championships in this, in, country, in this yes. country. And I know you won't want to leave without mentioning that, of course, if people want more ice skating, you have a DVD of ice skating. <laughs> yes, um, um, our last week was the DVD of the last tour we did mm -hmm. earlier this year. Um, a very exciting tour, a chance for all our celebrities to show off what they can do, what they've learned, and, they, and they're doing the same routines night after night, so they just get better and better, lots of fun with it. I'm and excited. is David I'm Beckham, excited about the is David Beckham going to join you? The stars got, yeah. What do you yeah. think? Has he been well, invited? David I think he's on Jane's wish list. <laughs> Definitely, but I, I would say that's a bit of photoshopping. <laughs> <laughs> Suits him though. Can we it see that? He looks good. Can we see there. that picture? It's good in sequence. Let's have a quick look before we go to the weather because it's a it's a picture you don't want. There we go. Wait a minute, but he's not signed up, is he? For the next series in January? Might be a surprise. You never know. Oh, you're keeping it. <laughs> it's lovely to see you. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Um, we've got to hand to the weather. Uh, it's with, um, who's it with? Darren, whatever. Yeah, Darren? Hey, we might be on Oddbox next week.